Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Quick Tip. I'm your host, Joel Barnes, and this is episode number eight. The mission statement is to be short and lean, quick in time, to be helpful and to add value to you by giving you the quick tips about work and life, and it's the little things that make the big difference. The goal is for you to learn something new and share it with someone. I find super value in doing this um, in a team setting, in my work environment, and it really helps set things apart, set the teams apart that really uh, got together, collaborate, help each other grow, and you can see that camaraderie and the team grow from just the little things that they gave, the little tips that everyone helped out with. So the title for this week is Desktop Sticky Notes, and using Desktop Sticky Notes, it's a simple application, plain Jane, nothing special, it's a Desktop Sticky Note. I'm just gonna go through some of the cool things about it, some of the simplicities of it, and so before we do, I wanna get into the short tip for today. And the short tip for today is develop a process to be the most efficient that you can be. And the point is, develop a process. Create something. Set something in motion, create that habit, develop that process to be the most efficient that you can be because I want you guys to be successful. So without further ado, let's get into today's Friday Quick Tip. Friday Quick Tip. Okay, I don't know. All right, today's Friday Quick Tip, desktop sticky notes. So making sure that you have it on your computer, looking at the start menu option uh, or pressing that Windows key button, type sticky notes, and hopefully you guys have it. If not, download it and find a good sticky note application. This should pull up a window on the side if you actually see sticky notes, desktop sticky notes. PC should be able to pull up the application and you should have a list of items underneath. And before you actually open it, you can select pin to taskbar and that taskbar at the bottom of your screen it will be able to pin it to there and you'll be able to get to your desktop sticky notes quickly. The whole point of your desktop sticky notes is you want that sticky note right then and there, right on it, put it down, ready to go. Well, this is where it's at, on your taskbar, pin it to your taskbar so you have it easily accessible. Instead of having to go to the start menu, having to find it again, just look at your pinned taskbar and it's right there. Once download and open. Just once you open it up, you're ready to start typing, man. It's free type and you're ready to go. There's no safe feature. It is automatically saved whenever you type the information in. So whenever you click that X to close out, everything that was on there last is saved. That's uh, one of the valuable points I like the most. Um, just making sure that I type everything in and I close out. Hey man, it's still there whenever I pull it back up. I might just forget about it, move on to the next application and, and let it be but at least it's there ready to go and it's quick to pull up and it's quick to use. On um, options, you're able to add more sticky notes to the screen just by touching that plus button and you can have multiple, you can have many, you can have a whole bunch. Uh, if you're a sticky freak, then just fill up your screen with it, right? But if you just need a few, then work with a few. Uh, I find also that it's a good thing that you can change the colors of the sticky note and whenever you color coordinate with the category, so you put green is finance, it helps you remember everything on that sticky note is about finance, blue is about work, red is about my fitness, etc., and the yellow is just arbitrary, things that I use on the daily. Um, having multiple sticky notes, is, of course, is good, uh, making sure that you're able to change the color and you can arrange them in any particular order, so put them in um, priority list that you want. Uh, it's just free float, you're able to use it. And the quick options at the bottom are bold, italics, bullet points, strike through, and add images. Making sure this is quick and easy and accessible for you guys to use, but making sure uh, it's not too complicated and you get overrun with options. For the quick points of reference, if you need to make it quick note, then it's right there. You don't have to scramble for a pen and pad. If you need to track your tasks, then it's easy to track, strike through, complete, erase, make new, whatever you have, it's easily to reuse. You can make grocery lists, office supply lists, anything really, of course, right? Uh, the benefits, I like them because they help me to stay organized, stay on top of my tasks. Uh, the one-off things that I really don't put on my tracking 
uh, documents or my daily tracker, which is Friday quick tip number seven, or document my achievements, which is Friday quick tip number six. Take a look at those two videos to see if those documenting your achievements and tracking your daily tasks can help you out as well. Um, but I like the, the desktop sticky notes because it's a quick reference. And there's an endless supply, right? It's paperless. Uh, they're easy to read and I might have a little bit of messy handwriting. Go figure. I think we all do for the most part. Um, whenever we're in a hurry and you try to write something down, um, I'm typing something up. I can type pretty fast. At least I can read it next time, right? Uh, and it's easily accessible. Uh, close out with the X and then it'll pull back up with all your saved references. And let's take a quick look back at the short tip. Develop a process to be the most efficient that you can be. The most efficient. Develop that process. Again, my platform is I found sticky notes to be a value, but I like the desktop option knowing that they're right there, easy accessible for me, and I developed that process of using them, color coordinating, and have them categorized so that it's most efficient for me to use. It takes a little bit to set up as far as putting them how you want them, but you kind of work through processes, work through the daily tasks, and then line them up and eventually they'll be streamlined and be really efficient for you guys. Well, that wraps it up for the Friday Quick Tip Desktop Sticky Notes. I hope you guys find value with that. The quote for this week is, Courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyways by good old John Wayne. All right, guys. Give me a like if you like this video. Click subscribe to see more from the Friday Quick Tip. And I hope you guys do because I really enjoy you guys. And you can hit that bell to see the latest videos that come out when? Friday. That's right. Send me any quick tip ideas that you might have and I'll add them to the list of topics. And I'll try to get to those and take a look at those and see if I can um, put those up for the upcoming Friday Quick Tips. You can send them to Joel Barnes at FridayQuickTip at gmail.com. On the 30th, we'll talk about PC and application shortcuts. There are a few applications that I find value in using shortcuts and I wanna be able to share those with you. On the 7th, creating a custom ribbon in Excel. I love Excel and I love knowing that you can change the menu options, so we'll get into that. And on the 14th, hurricane prep checklist. There are, are storms that are inevitable and being prepared is something of value. All right, guys, this is Friday Quick Tip, episode number eight, signing off. You guys have a fantastic day. We'll catch you next time.